Find the vector equation, parametric equations, and symmetric equations for the line passing through the points 1, comma, negative 2, comma, negative 3, and 4, comma, negative 5, comma, negative 1. Looking at the notes below, the vector equation of a line is given in this form, where the vector r sub 0 is a position vector, which is a vector that points to a point on the line, and the vector v is a direction vector, which is a vector parallel to the line. We also have the parametric equations of a line as well as the symmetric equations of a line. Let's first focus on the vector equation and before we find the vector equation, let's look at this graphically. The two given points are these two black points and therefore the goal is to find the equation of this red line. If we pause this graph, notice how this blue vector has its terminal point on the line and therefore the blue vector is a position vector and notice how the purple vector is parallel to the red line and therefore the purple vector is a direction vector. And remember to find the vector equation, we do need a position vector as well as a direction vector. So going back to our work, for the position vector, vector r sub zero, let's use the vector with its initial point at the origin and the terminal point at this first point and therefore the vector r sub zero has an x component of one, a y component of negative two, and a z component of negative three. And now for the direction vector, vector v, let's find the component form of the vector that would have its initial point at the first point and terminal point at the second point. And therefore, component form, the x component is going to be four minus one, the y component is going to be negative five minus negative two, and the z component is going to be negative one minus negative three. Simplifying, the x component is four minus one, which is three. The y component is negative five minus negative two, which is equal to negative five plus two, or negative three. And the z component is equal to negative one minus negative three, which is equal to negative one plus three, or positive two. This is all the information we need in order to find the vector equation of the line passing through the two given points. Just keep in mind that the position vector can be any vector with this terminal point on the line, and the direction vector can be any parallel vector. So one possible vector equation would be r of t is equal to vector r sub zero with components one comma negative two comma negative three plus t times vector v that has components three comma negative three comma two. So this is the vector equation of the line but we can also perform scatter multiplication here and then add the corresponding components. Let's also show this form of the vector equation. So we can also express r of t with an x component of one plus t times three or one plus three t, a y component of negative two plus t times negative three, which gives us negative two minus three t, and a z component of negative three plus t times two, which gives us negative three plus two t. Either form of the vector equation are correct for the line passing through the two given points. And now that we have a vector equation for the line, let's find the parametric equations and the symmetric equations. The parametric equations are given here, which are found by using the x, y, and z components of the vector equation and therefore the parametric equations are x equals one plus three t, y equals negative two minus three t, and z equals negative three plus two t. The symmetric equations of a line are given here, which can be found by solving each of the parametric equations for t and then setting them equal to each other. Looking at the f component, if we solve this for t, we would subtract one on both sides and then divide both sides by three, which gives us the quantity x minus one divided by three. And this is going to be equal to solving the y component for t, we would add two to both sides and divide by negative three, which gives us the quantity y plus two divided by negative three. And this is equal to, if we solve the z component for t, we would add three to both sides and then divide both sides by two 
which gives us the quantity z plus 3 divided by positive 2. And these are symmetric equations for the line passing through the two given points. I hope you found this helpful.